Satan. Sorry? Can God become Satan if he wanted to? He can allow Satan to No, no, no. Can he himself become Satan if he wanted to? You would not, because Satan... He would not. You said God can do anything. He can. But God is lie. Wait, 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 wait. God so now we realize God... So, so, now, now, so now what you said, God cannot do everything. He can do everything. You'll see he can. God, God is good. God one, one second, one second, one second, one second. Tell me plainly, can God do everything? That's good question. He can do everything, but he okay. cannot. He, he but he cannot. He, he so that means, that means, that means, that means he cannot do everything. That's what it means. Right? So you need to speak in a sense that makes sense to us. What I say as a Muslim, God does things which befits him, his majesty. God doesn't think, God do things which goes against his nature. So if the nature of God is to be all knowledgeable, he doesn't become ignorant. If the nature of God is to be everlasting, he doesn't seek to exist. If the nature of God is someone who is independent, he doesn't become dependent. Do you follow soon? So now, so now, so now, let's go back to the question. You believe three persons, Father and Son and the Holy Spirit. The Father can lift the bag one meter. The Son can lift the bag one meter high because he has the power to do so. Can I, can I, you I want, allow me to speak? And this go, is ahead, go ahead, go ahead. God is holding the bag. God do who? Listen to me, don't, don't uh, okay. interrupt, okay? Because this Fine. is very rude. God is the, the one who is holding the bag. He's got the, the, the everything in his hand. This whole world belongs to God. And God sent Jesus Christ to die on the cross for our sins, for our salvation. You bring in creation in? Let me finish. I don't, I'm not talking about creation. He said, Do not bring creation in. Is that, is that fine? It will be rude to bring creation in when we agreed. Let we will talk about God before okay. the creation. So, Continue. Jesus Christ has, has the same power because he came to this planet. I'm not interested in the planet. Okay. We so, agreed it will be rude to bring the planet and the creation in. Let's discuss God before the creation. Go ahead. We are, we if she allows you to, yeah. and, and, not, and, and if it's not rude. We are God's creation. How can we ignore can we the world and Because we are we're trying to understand God. I was going to say that the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, they don't have conflicting wills. Yes, always yes, in we are in unity. When you say, let's understand this concept. When they, do, when they are absolute by themselves, and if they don't have conflicting wills, do they agree to disagree or agree to agree? You is this my Jesus, wait? Right? Is this by choice or by compulsion? Disagreement. I, I, I think it's by nature. It's by love. The it's son, by love. Son. Either it's by look, love. look. Love. Let me show you. Bringing this up from here or there, there is not a morality oh. question, is there? It's not a morally moral question. No, no. Yeah. You're um, I would not like to speak to this heckless because they're a heckler. They will heckle the conversation, so you could tell them not to heckle. I don't know what is it. Yeah, yeah give, just give this mic back and say, we're not interested in heckling conversations. No, but maybe Go ahead. they can learn from you, sister. Maybe they'll no, learn no. from you. No, no, right? So coming back to your question, and no hecklers in, in, included in this discussion, we're no, not we interested. Don't want all the heckling. Exactly, I agree with you, Matthew. When we say someone is independent, that means I make my own choice. So if I want to make, if I want to lift this back as an independent, absolute entity, I don't have to listen to you. I wait, 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 this lady said she was, yeah. he, he well, was, I don't believe the right, he, that's he, not what we're discussing, he could do, can I say, but when, he the lady, could, when he was on the earth, he could do whatever he wanted, but we're not talking was, about the earth, but please, they allow me to speak, I cannot talk anchor. about the earth, that's why that's, we are in, a, in, in this, the, the problem is, you are not willing to understand God as He is. Can I can I say something? Yes. Only if you don't bring the creation in. Uh, look at the um, Father, the God, mm -hmm. and uh, Jesus, the Son. Yeah. And God used this for us to know that He is our Father, and Jesus is like an um, example to us to follow, right? We're supposed to, as Christians, follow Christ. And Christ was the Son of God. He was obedient to the Father. Why He was obedient? Because He loved God. You're it preaching? Was not, it was not... It was You're not preaching. So instead, of, preaching. so instead no. of preaching, let me ask you again. No. He, why? When you love why? your Father, you will obey your okay. Father. So, he loved the Father. Sure. He was with the what, Father. What, 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 what. You know? Is He independent? You said yes. 
he he could he uh, when he was when uh, he uh, was asking is he independent or not? Is he independent or not? That's the question you should ask. Is he is he independent or dependent on the father? He had the choice, the same as uh, every person has the choice. You can as follow God. the darkness or you can follow the light. No, as God yes. is the second member of the Trinity, independent. Or he dependent. Yeah. Good. He yeah, if he's independent, but love, wait, Jesus love, Christ, wait. God it's and all man, about love. No, it's, it's not. About it's, not. It's, not it's important. It's, it's important. Division. The son, if he is independent, if he wants to lift this bag up one meter high from the ground, mm -hmm. does he need to talk to the father about it? He doesn't uh, have to, but he did. Wait, 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 the wait, wait. God, No, this bag, everything. this bag. Yes. Yeah. If he's independent, what it means is he doesn't need to speak to anyone. Yes. That's what independent but means. He was mean? loving so towards wait, the father. Wait. He was loving towards the father. Do you understand what independent means? Of course. Right. I am independent. Today. Independent means the son does not need to consult the father to lift this bag one meter high. And he's able to do that because you affirm not only is he independent, but he's also all powerful. I am telling you now, suppose the father wants to lift the same back up at the same time two meter high because the father is independent he doesn't need he doesn't need to listen to the son and he's all powerful he should be able to lift the back two meters high question where is the bag going to go they're not independent that's the answer the bag will go where Father the God wants it. Then yes. the son is but not the, all powerful. Yeah, but okay, the son, okay, yeah, the okay. son is all that. about the love and respect and unity with Father. So the he's God. not independent. Let me give you the let me give you the example. He it's asks like the a, if you he have a good father and well, let, we yes. both agree that so God. So she means there's a one independent. Who's the father? God. So if receive the Holy Spirit, Jesus will ask the father. So you basically believe there's only one independent who's the father, not the son. I believe in, in Jesus, the, the Son. He's not independent. I believe that. He is. If, yes. like no, he if, was independent, but because wait, wait. he was loving be and caring yeah. for the, for the uh, he wanted to listen to his father. He doesn't need to be independent. He doesn't need to be It's like, you know, the same yeah. with, let me give you the example. It's like um, if you have a good father yeah. who is smart, who is intelligent, who is loving, caring, the best father ever possible. Imagine. That's the Father God. So imagine you are a son of a father who is excellent in every way, right? Okay. So you will easily submit to that excellent father figure, right? And it's very easy to submit and love the father who is excellent. The same Jesus Christ. He was obedient to the father because he knew that Father God is the only one. He is the truth. He is the loving, caring God. No of the people on this planet can love you the way that God loves you. Is the Nobody. Father is the Nobody. Father possessor of all that makes God God, full divinity? No. Say it again. The Father does he have fullness of divinity that makes him God? He's fully God, but there's the Son and the oh, Holy Spirit. I am asking about the Father. Is he by himself fully divine? Is he God? The he's father. God, he's yes. God. He's good, good, good. The only person that's God. So the Son's God and the Holy Spirit's God. Is the Son... God, God can do anything. So okay, okay. No, you agree God doesn't do everything. You keep saying it. Yes. And you, you know Jesus, it's not true. Jesus is excellent. So, I, I know because, uh, you know, for me, I experience God in my own life. Yes, so, so do I. So let's come back to Christ. The Son of God, does he have fullness of divinity that makes him God? Fully divine and fully human, yes. Yes. Divine, yes. yes. Fully divine, yes. yes. Sorry? Can you ask the heckler not to, to I can't hear because the heckler is. Does the son have fullness of divinity? That makes him Are God. Are you up till debating women only? Can you not debate men? Are you only up to debate women? Uh, maybe yes. Are you a woman? I'm a man. Then I can't debate you. So let's continue with you. So now, in this discussion, in this discussion, right? So now, do you see the heckling? That's why I didn't want to get involved with the heckler. So, if someone is God, think about it. Imagine you didn't hear about anything about Christianity, anything about Islam or you know, Hinduism, Buddhism. The concept of God that you will agree with is a God that is self-sufficient, independent, absolute. Absolute means he's perfect in everything. Perfect in power, perfect in love, perfect in knowledge and so on. Now, if the Son is God, 
He can destroy anything that he wants. But he wouldn't do it against wait, the wait, father's wait, will. Wait, wait, wait. Hear me out. He can destroy anything that he wants. Because he himself is God. He can destroy the Holy Spirit. He can destroy the Father. He can destroy Buddha. He can destroy anything. He wait, wait, wait. He's a part of it. Wait, he wait. Does he have the power? Is he powerful? enough to destroy the father no because the father's god as well right that's why i'm asking you now this question does jesus have the power to destroy the father no himself because father and him are one you would never destroy because as i'm telling you would you destroy your loving a uh, father god you is need love to, god is god love that's not what i'm asking for now i'm asking you in principle does he have the power to destroy his father in principle. No, because you cannot destroy yourself. It's not him himself. himself. No, Jesus, the Father, are two distinct persons. It's not the self. You are not your father or your mother. You are def different, distinct. So, does the Son, and let me ask you again for everyone to reflect on, does the Son have the power to destroy the Father? No, because he is God. Then he's not God. Because God is all powerful. You have identified someone who is less than all powerful. Yeah, but God can't do evil. That's not an evil. That is destroying something which is within his power or not. No, because if the Son is God. So you are now saying God, the Son, does not have the power to do certain things. He no, is not no, all powerful. He's not going to destroy himself because he said me and I will give you time to reflect and answer. Go on, take your time and now tell me why does the son not have the power to destroy the earth? You shut up and let the lady speak. Ah, you shut up and let the earth talk. Heckless, you're going to give this mic away. That's his mic. And he's interrupting you. You can't do that with us. Yeah, go ahead. Give the mic away. I want to allow people to speak. No, no, that's heckless. That's not speaking. That's heckless. Question, question. No. When did you come into the truth? Go ahead, answer. Are you the second or third? When did you meet Are you fourth? 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 Are is a healer. God heal is healing. So you're preaching now. No. You're preaching. I'm not preaching. So answer I'm the question. I'm talking about my experience. Either God you're going to answer the question, or you can say, I need to go to the church. Do you believe? I ask you a question now. I ask what you a question now. What was your answer? The answer is that the son cannot destroy his father. And does he have the power? Yes. No, 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 no. So he's not God. No, no, no. He the power then he's not God. Thank you very much. He he's mean, not God. Can you have okay? okay. Can you one woman? Can you have a God who's not all powerful? Can you have a God in any concept, a true God, who is not all powerful? Um, there's certain things that God can do. No, no. Can you have a concept of God in which God let's is not all powerful? Let's say no. he is powerful. There's enough, certain things he can't do, if that's what you mean. Wait. Wait. We are talking about a true God will be all powerful. We are starting I'm, this whole I'm discussion conversation so from the wrong angle. Yeah, really. Because I'm not interested in your personal to, experience. Oh, oh. Do you know what? What about, what about people who are who wants to who are here, are here who are struggling here. with depression? What about people struggling oh, with bipolar? About depression. Yeah. What about people what suffering from anxiety? Depression yeah. you want, or who you want to be the real from God depression? is? Do you want to be free from anxiety? Do you want to be free from sickness? I agree with you. Okay, okay, okay. Do you want to be I agree with her. Do I agree with her. Do you want healing? Um, what's your name? Do you want what's, what's your name? Mimi. Mimi, I agree with you. The concept of God that you carry gives anxiety, depression. <laughs> yes. So let's talk about that. Let's remove all anxiety and, and, and our depression. One more. Wait. 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 Let's remove our depression and anxiety. Now let's talk about it. I want to preach God of healing. I want to preach God of freedom, of deliverance. All the people in here, they are, a lot of people in here is in They're not interested in hearing your preaching. They're interested in knowing why do you believe in a God that makes no sense. Who is struggling with anxiety? Who is struggling with depression? Who is struggling with depression? Yes. 
can oh, he destroy I bet himself? Plenty of people. Self sufficiency means no, he doesn't go against but his own nature. Right? That's what I'm saying. Yeah? The son can't ashamed. destroy the father because it would go there against his own sir. nature. What is his nature? And the fact that he's. Uh, they're both united. The father and son are united. Let me ask you, let me finish. Let me finish. Develop, this, develop your thoughts. In the same way that the son can't destroy the father because they're connected and they're both eternal, just like God, the God you believe in, can't destroy himself because it's not possible. In the same way, the son can't destroy his father because they're connected and they're both eternal. That doesn't mean he's not God. It means okay. he's limited. Let me, so is your God. Let me respond. Your God can't destroy himself. Let me respond. So he's limited. If you're let, me respond. That, let me respond. Let me respond. Who's clapping? I do Two clowns. Two clowns responded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I warned you about. These two clowns will always hurt. So now coming back to you. Okay, so now, when you identify a being or an entity called the sun, you identify, you didn't agree with me. In fact, you had the same concept that I did, that the sun is not independent. So you are now referring to what this lady, Mimi, believes in an independent entity called the sun. If this independent entity is by himself self-sufficient, he doesn't need the father to be in existence. Wait, wait, he's wait. He's not self-sufficient on, on his own. That's they, what they, they you and I agree. They were, they were yeah. But because you are defending the lady's position. I'm not. Right, so now, so let's go back then. Because he's not self-sufficient on his own, he cannot be God. It doesn't matter. Why can't he be this God? Doesn't matter. Because he's got a Father and, and the Holy Spirit. Why can't he also be God? Because he's not self-sufficient. Do you think he God should get out of his throne every two seconds Sorry? and come and speak to us? Because Sorry? he's God, he's self-sufficient in the sense that nobody created him. He doesn't need anyone else to exist. The Father exists, but they're connected. Why can't they be free? And all be self-sufficient. Why? Why are you saying they can't possibly what's be your, God? What's your name? George. George. I'm Mansoor. Nice meeting you. Can you clarify? Jesus Christ, the second member of the Trinity, does he have a life of himself independent of the Father, no. or the Father Master gave him life? Mind. The Father didn't Master give him life. Question. The Father has eternal life. No one gave him his life. No one gave the Son his life. No one gave the Holy Spirit his life. They all have eternal life, and no, life. and no one gave it to any of them. The Son has either life by himself. Here are my options. Either the life of the Son is inherently possessed by the Son without anyone giving him life, or the Father gave him life. Which one? He inherit, he exists as the Father exists. Um, of his own cause, he, he's his own self existent. He, he's not even causing his own existence. He's, eternal, he's existing and he cannot help but exist. He didn't cause it, he doesn't cause it. And he exists in the same way as the Father exists. And he gives life. They, 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 he didn't get his life from the, the Father. He that's, that's, so he yeah, has his own he life, right? He, he has he the same life. life his Father has. He didn't does get it from his Father. Does he have the same knowledge? Yes. By himself? Remember, free. you have an entity called the Son, second to. member of the Trinity. But he's God. Wait. What you're confusing is... I am not confusing I anything. You are. George, George, you need to clarify. Does the Son have Father. knowledge inherently by himself and not from the Father? His Where knowledge is co-equal with the Father That's because they're both God. That's not my question. What is your question? Did he receive and acquire knowledge from the Father? No. Or did he possess knowledge by himself? He, because he is God with the Father, has knowledge and he, and he knows just like he's in his existence. He's got existence because he possesses existence. He can't help but possess his existence because knowledge? he's God. Knowledge? And the same with knowledge. His knowledge is something he can't help but know, just like the Father can't help but know, the Son can't help but so know. Then, so he has knowledge by himself inherently. No, he didn't inherit it. No, you're it's not, no, 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 not, him. It's not, a part of not inherit, inherently, no, no, meaning by himself, no, without it. acquiring it from anyone else. He didn't acquire it from anyone else, neither did the Father. No, Good. So Jesus' knowledge, or the second person's knowledge, is not received from the Father. No. Good. If he has a secret, can he keep it secret from the Father? No. No. They're all the one, they're all, they're all God together. They so now they're you all have all a God. God, if he has a plan, he cannot keep a secret. That's right. The, the Trinity cannot keep they secrets from each other. each other. They, 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 it's not possible. And you say it's not possible because, because they're all co-equal in 
So, all they, knowledge. so they do not have the power to keep it secret. They don't have the power to keep it secret, no. But that doesn't mean he's not all powerful. In the same way that Allah can't destroy his own existence. That doesn't because, mean he's not all powerful. No, I'll tell you about this. Possible. No, Allah, look, look, look. Because by nature, Allah is ever living, everlasting. So is the God wait, of the wait, Bible. Wait, wait, wait. Because of that, anything that contradicts this, we reject. We say no, season to exist will contradict what we have affirmed. That is ever living, ever, everlasting. You say, Jesus, the second member of the Trinity, is all-powerful, all-knowledgeable. So if he has a thought, he should be able to keep it secret. But you're saying, no, he can't. No, if he's co-equal with his Father and with the Holy they're, Spirit, it's they're, not they're all in agreement, on this. It doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that... This agreement... It doesn't mean that God can't exist. This agreement, Matthew, this agreement, was it by choice? No, it's... It just is. You can't help it. Because none of them are God. Because they can't even help themselves possessing whatever they have. Is Allah not God because he can't destroy himself? No, no. I just explained to you. Destroying oneself goes against the nature of what he is. And becoming separate from each other is not possible for the Trinity because they are all by nature connected. No, no. It's not possible. They're not connected. The Bible says they are, and they I are believe distinct. the Bible. They are distinct. They are one. They are one. No, they I don't believe that. I believe the Bible teaches that they're, they're all of God. Okay. Now, do they have equal amount of knowledge? Yes. Are you sure about that? I believe, yeah. The yeah. Bible teaches that, and I believe it, yeah. Does the son know that he's the father? The son doesn't think he's the father. The son knows the son he's the father. Does the son know that he's the father? The son doesn't think he's the father. So he doesn't know he's the father? He doesn't, he doesn't know it because he doesn't father. believe it. He knows good, he's good, good. The Does the father know that he's the father? The father knows he's the father. So the knowledge of the father is that he knows he's the father. Yeah. The son doesn't have that knowledge. He doesn't, he's not the yes, father, he does. Not he knows father. that the father's the father. The son. He just knows he's got a different wait, position. Wait, that doesn't wait. mean he's, he's the son. He's does not knowledge. know that he's the father he's because not he's, the not the father. he's not the father. All right, I mean, the knowledge. Hear me, hear me out. Hear me out. This is this is called this is called for you to reflect later. I don't need to reflect later. I already know. I've done something stupid like that. Okay, what is the problem I'm referring to? Okay, you're trying to say that because the son. I am referring to. In philosophy, you just in a question, I'm trying to answer. George, George, in, in, in academia, yeah. this is a problem of something. Do you know what that is? I know what you're talking about, no. and I'm trying to the explain. The problem is spiritual Problem blindness. of indexicals. No, the problem of spiritual Have, have you heard of it? Yes. So you haven't heard about it. So this, I didn't know what you said. I'll tell you. I didn't know what you said. Hecklers try to listen and learn. Yeah, there's only one Hecla here. Like, can I just ask you, you you're Hecla. Right, you're trying to say it's called, it's it's called, it's called the problem of indexicals. Okay. Like, for example, if you know something to be true, for example, like if, 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 if you know you are George, you know at the same time that you're not Matthew. Yeah, I know right? what you're going to say. Wait, wait, yeah. what you know. I do know. The knowledge that you have, in your knowledge, you don't know something like what he knows, I know. that I am Matthew. Yeah. Your knowledge positions yeah. are different. Yeah. You don't have the same knowledge. No, that's not true. Oh, you said All right, you let me just say this wait, thing. Wait, wait. Yeah. You're going to say, because the son doesn't know what it's like to be the father, therefore the son can't be God, because he no. doesn't know what it's like to be no. God. No, I asked you, do they have the same knowledge? That's what I'm refuting. I am dismantling the claim that they have the same knowledge. Bear with, bear with me a minute. Sorry, I didn't hear that. We, instead of answering the questions, we have to ask questions, or we have to... Yes. This is, we don't, this is actually, we're actually not even allowed to... Do you think, do you think, do you think, do you think, do you think Jesus Christ is worthy of worship? But that's why yes. I wanted to show a testimony. Why? Because I believe he's God. To help everyone else. But he's not yes. sufficient. He doesn't want help. Yeah, someone else. Yeah, because he's he's not so sufficient. About, I believe he's Jesus, Jesus, he is. Yeah. Yeah. He's self-sufficient right. along with the Father and the Holy help Spirit. The people. If you want to preach, you don't. This is not the discussion for you. You don't. If you want to preach, this is not the discussion yeah, but for you. You don't believe, you don't believe that yeah. Jesus is not a Muslim. I am 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 not a Christian lady, I'm not allowed to preach. So, when you say self sufficient, that's where they are. That's three gods. Okay, tell me why they're not three gods. Because the Bible says that there's there one God, God. That there's three oh, persons. No. Where does it say that? Well, it teaches that. It doesn't that. say ah, Trinity, it says a right. Godhead. So, it if you have... First John 5, 7, there, there are three that bear record oh, in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Spirit. It's, it's a forgery. Yeah, I know what you're saying. I, know. I don't believe it is a forgery, but even if it doesn't teach it there, it teaches it's it in other places. It's a forgery. Okay, fair enough. Right. But it teaches it in other so places. So now, look, think about it. The Father is God, 
The Son is God, yeah. the Holy Spirit is God. Yeah. The Father is not the Son, the Son is not the Father, yeah. the Son is not the Holy Spirit, yeah. the Holy Spirit is not the Father. Why are there not three gods? There are no three gods. There is only one God. I don't want to talk to you. Bye-bye. Why? Why you don't want to talk because to me? Because you're not a hackler. Why you not a hackler? There is no one. Why you don't allow others to speak? Is Allah having power to heal? Yes. Amen. Yes. Why are there not three gods? How Allah is healing? Answer me. How Allah is healing? Allah heals the heart by removing this Can oppression. Can heal the illness? I am telling you. Yes, I'm listening. Allah heals the heart by removing the oppression of your brain in which you believe three gods like working surgery. together as one. So, when you believe the Father is God, the Son is God, the Holy Spirit is God, tell us why are there not three gods? Because they're all co-eternal. They're all co-eternal. Why, 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 why are you co-eternal? Why are you co-eternal? What's three gods? Because it's they're, relevant. Three gods. It's relevant. They work in relevant. unity. That's three gods. They work in yeah. unity. It's not. But what's what's it's it's one God. No, 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 it's not. One yeah. part. Not. I don't want to talk to you. Do you why? mind? Do you mind? Do you mind? Do you mind? She can talk. Right? I don't want to talk to you. This is a debate. I'm not debating you. I can talk. I don't want to talk to you. I can talk. When did they have a counter with what they can say whatever? Because you're asking everybody. I don't want to talk to you. You're talking in public. I don't want to talk to you. You're talking in public. I don't want to talk to you. No, no, no. You're talking in public. Why are they not free gods? I think the thing of it is that the scriptures, our information about God come from the scriptures, yeah? So your information... Your, your George, information George, George. comes from the Quran. George, that's what you believe. if a scripture said God is a potato, that's sufficient, right? Not for me. Good. So it's not about what a scripture says. Yes, but you so take your doctrine from wait, scripture. Wait, wait. You get your doctrine from scripture. If from a the script, Quran. If your Bible said God was a potato. Would you believe that if the Quran said it? One second. If your Bible said God was a potato, yeah. would you accept you, it? Would you accept it? No, I'm asking you. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Answer George. me and I'll answer you. No, no, I'm asking you this no question. Okay. Okay. If, my God, if the Bible said that God was a potato, no I question whether this was truly part of the scripture. Exactly. This is what I would do the same. So now, why would you question? In Quran 3.54 it says, Allah is the best of the deceivers. Why would you question? Quran Why would you question that God is a potato? Allah is the best of the deceivers. Because um, I know that a potato is the creation, that? Can you answer God that? is not. Can you answer that? You so there? now you realize, huh? asking God to be believed Allah as a potato, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't matter. Wait, wait. It doesn't make sense. I know, but it doesn't matter. It does matter. No, it doesn't. No. There's so it, some things you've got to believe by faith. You can't understand how God can be eternal and have no beginning. So if somebody believes God, so if somebody believes God is a potato by faith, it's okay. No, but if somebody believes God, he would have a beginning by faith. That is okay. Wait, wait, wait. George, George, Matthew and Mimi. If somebody has a scripture and it says God is a potato, would you say that's the truth? You need to. If, I'm not if hold you it. say you have a clip? if you say Allah is a potato, you need to research would and you, do would that, you accept it? get the truth out. Okay? No, would you say it's the truth? First of all, if Allah is a potato, you need to find would out. Would you accept it? I would no, not. Would you okay. accept it? Do you accept? George, I'm not just speaking to you. That, In Islam. Yeah. The description of God is such that God is one, only, absolute, self-sufficient, independent. Wait, 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 wait. Not born, not begotten, not born, not begotten, does not give birth. And it's nothing likened to God. So that is against the Christian doctrine. No, it's not against the biblical doctrine. It's just that some Christians believe different things. So why aren't you Muslim? Uh, because I believe that there is in three Quran, persons, one in God. Quran 61 Did Abraham and David and Solomon and Jacob and Moses preach that God was multipersonal? Yeah. Where? David said, the Lord said to my Lord, uh, sit thou on my right hand till I make your enemies uh, and, thy footstool. And from this, did the Jewish people believe what? This God is multipersonal? I don't, I don't follow the Old Testament. No, I am asking you. I, 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 I believe Jesus Christ interpreted the Old Testament if you, correctly. If you are going to believe in a book given to a community which doesn't believe God is multipersonal, you're going to tell me, the oh, the they didn't understand their own book? The Old Testament yeah. speaks no, to I, I believe that people did understand that. Did they that. understand? Did the they Jewish people, 
Yeah. Did the Jewish people believe God is multiverse if they wanted to know I believe the truth, that there were people yeah. within Judaism who did believe yeah. that, yeah. but it doesn't make Isaiah, a difference Isaiah, Isaiah. Um, that you don't necessarily read about him in the Old Testament, but there's no difference. Remember, remember, yeah. George, yeah. Even, even yeah. Isaiah 53, they said they believe in a Messiah, but I know what no, you're no, George, I know what when God says, I am God, for me, there is no God. After me, there is no God. I alone am God and there's no you you taking the mic of a heckler. Oh, is it? That's the heckler. Yeah, we're just gonna get the truth out. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go I know you have to go. Anyway. So if God says, I alone am God, there is none else. Yeah. Who's this I? He's God. not he's not contradicting him, himself there because Who's this I in Trinity? God The I is the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Yes. As God, they are an I. As persons, they are we. Do you believe the Trinity as a whole speaks? As a person? I believe so, yeah, they can be united in what they say, so they can speak as one. Well, yes. If you go back and study, and come back another time, the Trinity is not a person. You don't believe in four person but, but God. The three Trinities are God, okay. equally Wait, God. Hear me out, George. The Trinity is not one person. The Trinity consists of three persons, yeah. but the Trinity itself is not a person. No, true. So it doesn't speak. But when, he's, when God said, what, what was the verse you just said? George, in, in Isaiah, and what's the, what's the verse? in Isaiah, when yeah. God says, yeah, but speak. I am God. Right. Before me, there was no God form. Okay. After me. That could be any one of the Trinity speaking. Good. Yeah. There is the problem. Why? If because anyone the says, said, I am God, and then the Son said, I am God, and then the Holy Spirit said, I am God, none of them would be contradicting themselves. Do They're know, all the same God. Do you know what it says? Bef I alone am God, there's none else. Who's this I? That's right. Imagine I, the, the Son said am. that. I am that I Imagine am. the Son God. said, I alone am God. Now we have the Father, have Son, one moment, one, one, one moment. Imagine the yeah. Son said, is the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And the Son is saying, I alone am God and there is none else. Yeah. When Exclusively removing the Father and the Son. Yeah, no, I think I know what you're saying. But I think do you follow me? Yes, I do. But I think the answer to, to your question from my point of view is that the Father, Son and Holy Spirit are all connected. So when one says I, in a certain context, it would be all of them saying it. That's all I would do. I know what you're saying. It's a good point. Good point. Good point. Good point. You take care. But, you know, who's this? Who's this? It's, give, give it to the Hekla. All right, take care. Take care. But um, read the Quran. Yeah. Quran talks about about Jesus Christ, yeah. about Moses, about Abraham, and ask you to come back to the worship of the God of Abraham. Okay. What? I'll think. Take care. Good. See you later.